Hello and welcome to this video. As you probably have seen from the title and the thumbnail, what we're going to do or try to do in this video is save the response of the request in a separate file. And since I had some issues with this and I did it wrong a couple of times, I'm going to actually go through the code um, that I wrote step by step and then um, run it. So the code itself is not hugely different from what we saw uh, until now. Basically, we are uh, we're making a request to this endpoint here. And then we're extracting as a string. This is important because um, I did, you can also be tempted to say to string, and you'll see in a second why this makes a huge difference. And once you save uh, this string, this response here, I'm creating a new JSON file. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I called it response.json. And then I'm making a short error check in the sense that, well, if I can create a file, then I'm writing the response in the file, and then I'm closing the file creation. In case I cannot create the file, um, error the, the, the string fail will be printed. So let's just run this. And um, you will see most possibly that this will not fail. This did not fail, perfect. However, if we go into the project, we see we have now a response.json file here. The problem is it's not really containing what we wanted. And this is what I was saying here with the two string. Um, we want to have the response as a string. Okay, that has been done now. Let's run this again. You can either do it like this, run uh, and the, the name, or from here, And I am expecting, okay, the test itself seems to be um, passed, but it's actually failed. So we have this in the console. And why did it fail? It failed because we have already a file, which is called response.json, and it could not create a new one. So let's delete this one. And if we run it now again, now we should get, we shouldn't get the failed anymore. And if we go into the response.json, we should actually have our um, response in JSON format. And there you have it. This is how you can save the response in an external file. I hope you like this video. Please do write in the comments um, suggestions uh, and uh, yeah, comments. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.